Documentary? I fucking know. Believe me, I've... What a fucking disaster. That was supposed to be done... After the tour happened, I was like, okay, four months later, that documentary will be out. And then we left it with people. It got... They were like, yeah, we're working on it. We'll have a cut for you. We'll have a cut for you. We'll have a cut for you later. And then six months later, they were like... or. Maybe not even six months. Yeah, maybe six months later they were like, oh yeah, we actually just didn't work on it. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Well, work on it now, please. I could have given it to Robin and like bumped up his pay for that documentary and it would have been done in a month. Um, And they're like, no, we're working on it now. And then they started working on it. The person working on it had to be changed because they were working on some other stuff and they were prioritizing it. So then we hired another editor to work on it, like a professional editor. The tour documentary I'm talking about. Um, we hired a professional like documentary editor to go through it. They worked on it for a while. Then they went on holiday, so it didn't get worked on. Then the original person was still working on it, so it got bounced back and forth. So... The new editor couldn't do anything without the old editor, like, stepping in and, like, approving stuff. And I was like, fine, as long as it gets done. And here we are over two years later, and it's still not out. I've... It's been one of the bigger, like, fuck-ups. And I could have been a lot more strict on it, a lot more stringent and hardcore, and been like, no, fucking give it to me and I'll do it myself. But I, I just wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I... I don't know, too many hands, yeah. Or maybe not enough. <laughs> maybe not the right hands on it. Um, and I'm like, is it even relevant to release anymore? Because back then it was like, we could potentially... Like, the, the footage we got was so cool. And I, I still think the documentary is amazing. I've seen it. It's really, really good. It's just so distant from the tour now that... Eh, maybe it'll be fun in that regard. It's interesting to look back and see who I was then and see... Because there's a lot of, like, uh, story elements in it about me and my change in life and blah, blah, blah. So it's interesting to watch, like, a different version of me from back then. Uh, but, like, when we when when we saw the footage first and what was being recorded and the story behind it and everything, we were like, we could probably shop this around to people and sell it off to, like, a Netflix or somebody. But we didn't have anything to show for it. And now that we tried to do that recently, everyone declined it because it's just not relevant to the tour anymore because the tour's been done for so long. Um, Sometimes you're just too nice. I 100%, yes. There's a, that's another thing that I've realized that uh, a lot of this stuff is very uh, in the moment and I can't sit around waiting for uh, elements of it to be done over like long periods. I, I kind of just want to like jump in and maybe you kind of have to hurt someone's feelings in that sort of aspect or get have like a hard conversation or maybe the business aspect of it is a little like messy. But it's better to kind of uh, get it done, I think. It'll be out when it's out. It's done. It just needs to wait for... <clears throat> I think... I don't know what we're waiting on for, actually. I need to update on that. <clears throat> 